Welcome to the first episode of Azure with Simon. In this video, we are going to talk about the Azure Web Apps. Now, the Azure Web Apps can be deployed by three ways. The first one is by using Azure Portal, the second one by using Azure CLI, and the third one being Azure PowerShell. In this tutorial, we are going to look how you can deploy Azure Web Apps using Azure Portal, which is quite easy and the best way to get started. Now, you all know Azure is not free, but if you're a student watching this video, you can use a free subscription that is given by Microsoft, which is known as Azure for Student. Google Azure for Students to know more information. Also, I'll give the link in the description where you can go and sign up for the free resources that is provided by Microsoft for Students. That's all. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to visit a website google.azure.com sign in with your email id that has subscription for the azure write down your password it may take a while to load okay so the first thing that you need to do when you land on this home page is go on the top left click on create resource now click on the web app now as you can see with the project detail the subscription is azure for students as i've already told you that is a subscription that i have it's entirely free now we need to give a resource group now if you hover it it says a resource group is a collection of resources that share the same life cycle permissions and a policy it means it is almost like creating a set that will carry a different service groups or the services that Azure provides for one particular project. In our case, I'm going to create a new resource and name it as Azure with Simon. You can name it whatever you want. Click on OK. OK. So now comes instance details. You will see whatever name right over here, it will be hosted on .azurewebsites.net. For example, if I write Azure with Simon, First, it will be it will be hosted on Azure with Simon first at Azure Websites.net. Now, how do you want to publish it? We want it to be running on the code. The runtime stack it wants the which well, language you want will go with ASP.NET 3.5. Really, it doesn't matter as of now. Which operating system do we want? Since we have selected ASP.NET, so it has come into Windows. Now, where do you want to host this? Web app, you can select many regions that are available. We'll stick to the simple one that is central US, that is by default. Uh, Windows plan, this is actually the service plan that is Windows plan that is created. Now you see the sizes and all, you can actually click on change size and change the services that you want, or you can say your subscription or the paying model. I've selected, gone to the dev test and selected the first one that is free. Okay. Click on apply. Now at the bottom, click review and create. It says summary subscription so and so resource group Azure with Simon name Azure with Simon first. Uh, runtime stack ASP.NET 3.5 and all that. It will be hosted on Central US. Click on create. So it will take a time to create. So while it is deploying, it will take you to another page that says your deployment is underway. Once your deployment is done, you'll get a button that says go to resource, click on it. So this is the overview of the web app that you have created. Now at the right, we'll find something that says URL. That is Azure with Simon first dot Azure websites dot net. Click on it and it will take you to the website, which is currently live now. It says, hey, app service developers. Now what we want to do is we want to host our, our custom HTML Codes on this web app. For that, what we need to do, we'll go back to our Azure portal. At the top, we'll find something that says get published profile. Click it. Now it will download the Azure publish profile settings. Open it. Now you'll find an FTP publish URL that ends with WW root. Just copy it and come to your 
my computer now at the top you just need to paste the url that you copied from the get publish file paste it and press enter now it is going to ask you the username and the password the username is also available here that is username you need to copy it come back and paste it over here and so is the password then click on log on you see it has an existing file that says hosting start.html what I'm going to do now is I have some certain files with me there are some index images and CSS files which is stored in my local computer okay I'm going to copy it go back to my root directory and paste it over there so once it's pasted over here I'm going to delete the existing file that is hosting start.html and remember the the index file that I have that is index.html I mean the HTML file that we have is the index.html so what I'm going to do now I'm again going to go to the same web service that we actually created and refresh it you now see the application that I pasted over there the HTML and CSS one it is it has actually come on the live web app that we have created with all the HTML and CSS you can see it is hosted on Azure with Simon first Azure websites.net and that is actually how you create your Azure web app now if you want to change it to a custom domain you can also do that in the Azure they have uh, their services to buy the domains from the Azure itself now if you in any case if you want to stop this you can click here and uh, the approach that we have used to publish this uh, website on our web app is the FTP you can also do it by creating an entire uh, web app and publishing it from the Visual Studio that that's also one way so the easiest way to get started is by using a portal and then get the get published profile copy the FTP URL add the credentials of username and password and just paste your existing HTML and your CSS file most specifically if you want to host a static websites I hope you like this video and now you are pretty much confident to deploy a web app on Azure this was one of the way on, on how you can deploy with Azure portal in the further videos that is the next Monday I'll come on how you can deploy the Azure web app using Azure CLI and also with Azure PowerShell thank you so much for watching this video till here I upload videos on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday but I upload a series of Azure that is particularly on Monday so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next video